Today, the Central Statistics Office released results on population and migration estimates April 2023. My name is Cahal Doherty and I'm the statistician in the population estimates and projection section. Today's results detail the estimates for the total usually resident population at the end of April 2023. Inward and outward flows to the population are in reference to the 12 month period to the end of April 2023. As is standard practice when a census of population has been finalised, the intercensal period, which is 2017 to 2022, for the population and migration estimate series gets revised. This revision has taken place and is based on a thorough analysis of the census of population results. Data on the registration of vital events, which are births and deaths, has been replaced by data on the occurrence of these events. Migration flows in the period have been adjusted and updated. The fully updated series can be viewed on PXDAT using the link on this slide. The results today are also based on this fully updated and revised series, as well as the new 2023 estimate. There are some important points for the population estimate in 2022. People from households that were temporarily absent outside Ireland on census night are included in the 2022 data for the first time. Thus, additivity of the population change component has been impacted between 2021 and 2022. So the revised series will have additivity from 2017 to 2021, not from 2021 to 2022, but it will have additivity from 2022 onwards. Also, the 2022 immigration flow has been adjusted to ensure accurate estimation of those who arrived to the end of April in 2022. Further detail can be found in the population migration estimates background notes. The line chart on the left tracks the population from 1951 to 2023. You can see that there's generally an increasing population since the low point in 1961. That low point was just above 2.8 million people. Population stock passed the 5.2 million people threshold between 2022 and 2023 and the usually resident estimate for 2023 now stands at just below 5.3 million people. This line chart tracks vital events from 2005 to 2023. The blue line is the annual deaths, the green line is the annual births, and the yellow line is the natural increase, which is the number of births minus the number of deaths. Focusing initially on deaths, you can see from the chart that the annual deaths went above 30,000 people in 2017 and it has continued upwards since then. If you look at the annual birth trend, you can see that there was a peak in annual births in 2010 and there has been steady decline in annual births since then, apart from one increase between 21 and 22 and we remain back down to a downward trend from 22 to 23. The natural increase trend in yellow matches the annual birth trend. So we have a peak in 2010 and we have a decline since then. The line chart on this slide looks at immigration by citizenship from 2017 to 2023. So immigration or inward migrants. So the navy line towards the top of the chart is the number of inward migrants for all citizenships. The yellow line is the number of inward migrants for the rest of the world. The green line is the number of inward migrants for Irish. And the three remaining lines towards the bottom of the chart are for the remaining EU countries and the UK. Focusing on all citizenships, we can see that there has been a drop in inward flows after 2020 with increases since 2021. So for all citizenships from 2017 to 2020, we have a consistent flow each year of about 90 to 95,000. It drops to 2021 and we have large increases since. It's quite interesting that there were consecutive 12 month periods with over 100,000 people on the inward flow. So in 2022, there was above 100,000 and in 2023, there was above 140,000 people in the inward flow. 
these increases are driven by the rest of the world flows. So you can see from the yellow line that the trend pattern matches that trend pattern in the all citizenship navy line at the top. It's also interesting that the returning Irish line or the green line is consistent apart from a decline between 2001 and 2022, but in 2023 we come back up close to 30,000 returning Irish citizens. The line graph in this slide looks at the emigration flows by citizenship between 2017 and 2023. Once again, the citizenship groups are the same. The navy line at the top, all citizens, Irish citizens in green, rest of the world citizens in yellow, and EU and UK for the remaining three lines. In 2023, the number of outward migrants was above 60,000 at 64,000 people. The number of Irish emigrants is larger than the other citizenship groups. So the number of Irish citizens departing was just above 30,000 people. Rest of world flows are the next largest component between 10 and 20,000 uh, people in 2023. Using the information from this chart and from the previous slide, we can work out net migration. And what we can see is that approximately, there's approximately zero net migration of Irish so 30,000 departing and 30,000 returning, and 60, 65,000 positive net migration for the rest of the world grouping. This table looks at estimated net migration by citizenship. The years presented are 2017 to 2023, and we look at Irish citizens and non-Irish citizens. Focusing on the two most recent years, 2022 and 2023, we can see low levels of negative net migration for Irish citizens, so 2,100 in 2022 and 900 people in 2023. For non-Irish citizens, we can see large levels of positive net migration, so 53,800 in 2022 and 78,500 in 2023. What this means is that the total net migration in these two years is above 50,000 for 2022 and above 75,000 for 2023, which is larger than any of the other years presented on this table. Now, assessing the age distribution of the migrants in 2023, the cluster chart on the left looks at immigrants with the blue bar and immigrants with the green bar. Age groups presented are 0 to 14 years, 15 to 24 years, 25 to 44 years, 45 to 64 years, and 64, 65 years and above. Focusing on the 25 to 44 year olds, we can see a similar share in the immigrants and a similar share in the immigrants. So 53% of inward migrants are immigrants are aged 25 to 44 and 50% of the immigrants or outward migrants are aged 25 to 44. So we have a similar share within both of the flows. This is not the case for those aged 15 to 24. You can see that 31% of the outward migrants are aged 15 to 24, but a lower percentage of 17% of the inward migrants are aged 15 to 24. If we focus on those aged 0 to 14, we can also see that there's a slight difference in the proportions. So 15% of the immigrants are aged 0 to 14 and 9% of the immigrants are aged 0 to 14. For the remainder of this presentation, I will focus on the whole population as opposed to the flows. Firstly, I'll focus on the regional population distribution in 2023. As you'd expect, Dublin has the highest number of usual residents and it's above 1.5 million. So just above 1.5 million people are usually resident in Dublin. The Mideast has the next highest population with 780,000 people. Next comes the Southwest with 760,000 people. The lowest population is found in the Midlands with 325,000 people. And next above the Midlands is the border with 430,000 people, 470,000 people in the Southeast, just above half a million in the West, and 520,000 in the Midwest. Assessing the age distribution of the population 
and comparing 2017 with 2023. So the same age groups as previously are used here. The blue bar is the 2023 purport population and the green bar is the 2017 population. Focusing first on the older age groups, 65 plus and 45 to 64 years, we can see in the 65 plus age group that over 800,000 people in Ireland are now age 65 plus. This is a considerable volume increase of over 150,000 people since 2017. In the 45 to 64 year old age group, there are now 1.3 million people, which is a volume increase of 180,000 since 2017. Similar volumes of population are aged within the 0 to 14 group and the 25 to 44 group when 2017 and 2023 are compared. The estimated population is also broken down by citizenship, which is shown in this table. And again, the period from 2017 to 2023 is examined. Irish and non-Irish citizens are separated out in this table, and it's interesting to assess the percentage of Irish and the percentage of non-Irish over the period between 17 and 23. What we can see is we can see that just above 88% of the population were Irish citizens in 2017 and this has steadily declined down to 85.7% in 2023. That's the presentation complete for the 2023 estimates but before I finish just to point to the next major output for the population estimates and projections section of the CSO and that would be the next round of population projections which take place when a census of population is finalised. On this slide, I have a timeline for 2023 and 2024 for this project. In September 2023, the usually resident population estimate for 2023 is published today. The series is also revised and published today. Between now and the rest of the year, the CSO will form an expert group and coordinate this expert group to meet and agree on assumptions on mortality, fertility and, more, and migration that will point into the next round of the population projections. These will then be published in Q2 2024. Thank you for your time watching this presentation. If you have any queries, please send them on to demography at cso.ie.